Hi, my name is Ryan and I've been doing some research on what we could expect with the new iPhone 14 that will be coming out later this year. Being an owner of the iPhone 13 Pro Max, there is no doubt that I'm really enjoying it. Apple have loaded the iPhone 13 series with some serious upgrades on board, but we could see much bigger changes come to the iPhone line in 2022. The iPhone 14 could have the biggest changes in years. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the latest of what is known so far. Interestingly, that puts those of you in the market for a new phone in a tough position on whether you should buy the iPhone 13 now or wait until the iPhone 14 comes out. Although we're still a long way out from Apple's 2022 iPhone announcements, but we've already seen a ton of credible rumors emerge. Apple is widely expected to release four new iPhone 14 models in 2022, though the company will reportedly ditch the iPhone 14 mini model. The 2022 iPhones will reportedly feature a punch hole instead of a notch, some big changes to the camera, a new chassis design, and a few other things that might intrigue you as you hunt for your next phone. That being said, there are already some great reasons to think about waiting for the company's 2022 iPhone models as the company will reportedly shake up the iPhone 14 lineup for 2022, there could be a larger iPhone 14 Plus or Max to go along with the regular 6.1 inch iPhone 14. So we're basically expecting two regular size phones and two larger screen iPhone 14 models. This was further backed up by a leaker John Prosser who claimed the iPhone 14 Max will be the replacement for a mini phone offering a 6.7 inch display only without coming with a load of pro features and thus a hefty price tag. Given the appetite for larger phones, a big yet more affordable iPhone could be just the thing for iPhone fans. In relation to the design, the iPhone 14 is expected to look like an iPhone 12 crossed with an iPhone 4 in that it will stick with the flat edges. But those edges could include a mute button and a group of rounded buttons for volume central harking back to the iPhone 4. Supposedly the sides of the iPhone 14 could be made out of titanium which could make it tougher and stronger than the previous iPhones whereas the back would retain that glass finish but seemingly with a satin like finish. Another design change potentially in the cards for the iPhone 14 is a trio of rear cameras will no longer protrude from the iPhone's rear but sit flush with the back. Given the advancements in camera sensor technology and lens manufacturing, this could be a possibility and in all honesty I think this will be a much needed design change as I'm not really a big fan of the protruding cameras in the iPhone 13 line. When it comes to the display, we're expecting a shake up in the iPhone 14 range as well as reportedly see a standard iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro come with a 6.1 inch display and a possible iPhone 14 Plus and iPhone 14 Pro Max to sport a 6.7 inch display. So as stated earlier, we are most likely not going to see the 5.4 inch mini. Given the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max have a 120 Hz refresh rate display, it will be great to see all iPhone 14 models have such a screen, likely using an LTPO panel or an evolution of that display tech. A new supply chain rumor has the iPhone 14 Max, potentially called the iPhone 14 Plus, tipped to get a 120Hz refresh rate display. LG will apparently be the screen maker in this case, though it is yet unclear whether the standard iPhone 14 will get a faster refresh rate or stick to 60Hz. When it comes to the camera, now this is where all the major upgrades are taking place. We're starting to hear some more about the iPhone 14 cameras and the rumors are getting pretty interesting. One report, is the, one report is the 48 megapixel main sensor for the iPhone 14 Pro models, which would be a big jump from the 12 megapixel camera on the iPhone 13. This rumor was given a little more credence by another leak that has both models of the iPhone 14 Pro and are tipped to come with a 48 megapixel main camera to go alongside a telephoto lens and ultra wide angle snapper. Trendforce, a Taiwanese research firm, backs up the 48 megapixel main camera rumor, suggesting that megapixels matter once more to Apple at least when it comes to the company's pro phones. While a bigger main sensor will be welcome, we're particularly interested in an improved telephoto lens as the iPhone lags behind the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S21. In fact, it would be rather neat if Apple drew inspiration from the Galaxy S21 Ultra and opted for a secondary telephoto camera with something like a 10x optical zoom. One of the most significant changes for the iPhone 14 over its predecessors is tipped to be the return of Touch ID only rather than get integrated into a power button like their older lines, it will supposedly be embedded under the iPhone 14's display. 
According to a recent leak, the iPhone 14 Pro models will come with an under display take of Touch ID, but the leaker was careful to say that this take on Touch ID is still being tested and it's unclear if we will end up seeing it again. Remember, nothing is official at the moment and these are just speculations that I've gathered from a number of articles. If you guys want to check out these articles, I will leave a link in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, take care.